behind being a good research scientist is a lot of critical thinking, um, you know, having the right skills, obviously, uh, for research scientists, which I'll get into in a bit, and then also being a good communicator. So um, the critical thinking is uh, really helpful. And by that, I mean just being able to think kind of on the fly. So a problem might come at you and you're not expecting it. And, you know, just being able to really dive in and just like try to solve this problem. Obviously, it helps to have like a background in research, you know, go to school. Go. I went to graduate school so I could learn how to do research, basically. Um, and then communication is completely underrated, in my opinion, um, in this field, because uh, most of the problems that you have to solve require more than just you to solve them. So you need to work with other people and you need to work with other people who don't have the same background as you. Um, and so to solve those problems effectively, you really have to learn how to um, communicate with other people and take, you know, fancy words for you know, maybe fancy technology that maybe is in your field and kind of break it down to a level where somebody else can understand who might have fancy words in their fancy field. Um, but it's really just, you know, something you can simplify it and really explain it to one another. So I think uh, really being able to take down, take apart complex things and explain them bit by bit in simple words is a really valuable skill in this field.